And when we do some doodle, we know that one of these blocks here represents 100. So I don't have enough blocks to count up, but let's use. So that's how many? 100. 200. 300, 400. I mean, it's an exciting thing to see. I mean, it's real objects. Yeah. It's not a film. And children love anything visual anyway. But that's a visual, kinesthetic child, you know, mm. the opportunity to see things rather than just listening. Yeah. You know, teachers with the best will in the world, if they're showing a text or a picture in a book, it's little. You know, to be able to put it up in large and really zoom in on things as well, I think that's the other thing. It's not just about sort of showing the whole test. You can really focus in on a sentence, you can focus on an object and drill right down to it, very, very close to it. So, you know, we're going to use this to help us see if we can measure. Okay, so we're going to Before we didn't have Elmo, the people at the back, they couldn't really like see the um, work, so when we had Elmo it was really good. And um, in our science work, it's um, better to use because it's got, when you like write something down, we can uh, see it all up on the board. Um, and... <laughs> to do and like when we didn't if we didn't have them my we couldn't actually see any any beginning of the first few months I found because I was in the back somewhere a bit nearer to the back row I couldn't really see the sheets very well but when we had Elmo then I could see it really well and in show so how do you find Elmo helpful in the classroom um, when we're doing art, you can like show how to do it instead of like holding it up, and it'll be a bit difficult for you holding it up, and you can just put it on like a mat so you can see it much better, and it's much more easier. Okay. And do you think that Elmo's easy to use? Yeah, like when you go up. Market, okay, and they said there are cars. Let's see what else they used to advertise London. What else can you see advertising London, Ryan? Uh, Big Ben. Yeah, we've got Big Ben again. Big Ben seems to be a common theme. London. And London Eye again. What else? Um, Buckingham. It's been ever so useful having it in the classroom. It's almost like having an electric overhead projector. So I haven't had to put anything on acetate. So I haven't had to worry about changing bulbs. I can just put. Um, a piece of paper under there and write on it. I haven't even got to use overhead pens. Um, it's really good as well because I can show children's work and I can stop partly through a lesson. Whereas before, if I wanted to show something, I'd have to hold it up or pass it round. I can just say, "Oh, stop! Quick, have a look at this." Put the piece of work on the visualizer, and then the children can see it straight away. And it's also nice and big for them. It's excellent for things.